everyone so this video is going to be about me showing you how to do a vector drawing of um, a Halloween gnome that I own because it's Halloween season and I wanted to do some uh, I wanted just to give some tutorials on how to do vectors successfully so that's what we're gonna do here so I've already placed my image in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer down I don't know why I have multiple layers here. And then we're going to open our draw layer and we're going to get started. Okay, so I am going to change my stroke to black. And just to show you over here, this panel right here is where you will do that. Put this to black and then your fill area to no fill. And you switch it back right here. Okay, all right. Now we're going to zoom up because we're going to start from the tip. I want to do the, the hat first. So, yeah. And then I'm going to select my pen tool, which is what we're going to be using to create the shapes. I'm going to put my stroke weight at about a four because I want you to see um, what I'm doing here. Let me see if it's big enough. Yeah. But I, it looks like I still might have to zoom up so you could see. Let me bring my laptop closer. Okay. Alright, there we go. I'm going to start from up here. Alright, so let's begin. So the tip of the gnome is round, so I'm going to point and drag. So when you're using the pen tool, the best you're going to do sorry not the best um, the best way to do this correctly is to follow the formation of the shape and then you're going to point and drag within the formation of the shape just like this and you're always dragging in the opposite direction so if you point for example down here you're going to drag down you're not going to drag up because if you drag up that's what's gonna happen so you have to drag down in the opposite direction okay all right so let's Reconnect here and just follow the shape of the gnome hat. Okay. Once you get the hang of it, it will be pretty simple. When I first started learning this in college, um, it was a bit tricky, but I'm going to be honest, it didn't take me that long to learn it. Because I, would, um, I wouldn't just learn it in class and then go home. I would also practice at home. So, you know, I became very good at it since college. It became even better when I started doing it by myself outside of school, but that's what it was, okay? So we're just going to keep um, following the gnome directions here, okay? And it's a round hat, so, you know, I'm not trying to make it look too straight. I'm trying to give it some curvature, um, yeah, basically. Okay, this part looks a bit straight, so I don't know. Let's... Let's work on this part. So you're probably wondering if I'm going to draw around the bats, and I sure am. Because um, when you're doing the vector, focus on the outer um, shapes first. Each singular shape by itself, okay? Don't, many people try to like, if you're gonna draw the hat, they'll try to draw the shape of the bat inside the hat like this. And then when it's time, so as I was saying, a lot of people will try to like draw around the bat, but that doesn't work because well, not in this instance. You could do it if you want, but when it's time for you to fill the actual color of the hat by itself, you're going to fill all the shape, the, the connections that you create. So you don't want to fill the, the hat in orange and then the bat is in orange and then you got to redraw this bat shape to get the black. So you do it one shape at a time. It's best that way. As I said, unless you just want it the other way, which I believe is much more of an asshole, but you know, everybody do what they do differently and it is what it is all right go around the curve here and go around the curve bam there you go sometimes the curves are like really hard to catch but as long as you catch it close enough you're good plus you could always go in and um 
adjust with the direct selection tool which i'm going to show you like in a little bit but for right now let's just focus on getting the base done okay all right perfect perfect all right i, I like that you know it's not too out of there all right and let's go uh finish this off sorry as I said, just keeping the hat a little bit round is good for me. Don't want it to be too straight. I like stuff that looks, even though vector is computerized, it still has to have that look like, like the actual image. Unless you're doing per se, um, like say you're doing like a logo or something, and it has to be like polished. But when you're doing computerized stuff, you could definitely um, make it look. A little bit realistic you know add the curves add the little bumps and details you know it makes the artwork look more pleasing in my opinion okay all right so once you all right so in illustrator if you're not familiar you have to reconnect at the end of your drawing you cannot just leave it like that you will not be able to fill that shape so you need to connect it in order to fill this shape so let's go like that and boom there goes our hat and I'm going to just uh, hide the image layer, layer so you could see so there we go that's our hat right there right and I can also increase the stroke weight. I'll put the stroke weight to like a six. Sorry, let me see. Put the stroke weight to maybe a ten. Just so you could see the lines a lot better. See? There we go. Perfect hat. Alright? Or a perfect no. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the image layer back because we are going to have to <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how am I going to draw the shape of the hair because but we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Okay. Let's do the easiest thing next. The nose. So I would prefer to just do a circle sometimes that got already made circle within the software. But because we're learning how to use a pen tool, I'm going to just draw this uneven circle with the pen tool. All right, all right, so let's go. Oh, I forgot. Let me change my stroke weight back down to like a two because the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I don't want the stroke weight to be as large. I want to see what I'm doing and I want to see my lines. So I'm going to reconnect and you're going to go around this circle, this ill shaped circular nose. All right, there we go. Drag and point, drag, release. Point, drag, release. And reconnect because you have to connect your circle. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. All right. So we have the nose. Everyone, um, the drawing is going to be done on one layer. I'm not doing like the hat on one layer, the nose on one layer. I'm just going to keep it just like that. And I also am going to draw this little thing here. You know, this is weird. I know this illustrator is increasing the, the size of the mouse. I don't know why that keeps happening. But that's cool. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to draw the stressful part, at least what I think is a stressful part. The hair, because I'm not... When you draw a vector, let me just say this, the less details, the better. You don't want to go, unless you want to do like every single detail, you don't want to do, go like incredibly detailed at the beginning. So see, I want to um, do the hair, but I'm not going to do it with all the strings out like this. I'm going to find the easiest portion that I could draw as the outer layer, and then I can go in and, um, add like the extra strokes of hair if I want to be more detailed but I'm not gonna do that today okay all right so 
Let's start off right here at the tip. Okay. You know what? I should put the hair on a separate layer. Let me do that. Let me just get it out of the way. Here. And then label your layer. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is capture the outer layer right here. Just this little curve right here, that's all I need. There we go. So that's the first one. And you know what? I think I might need to increase the, um, what do you call it? Increase the opacity, which is the visibility on this picture because I just want the, there we go. So I could see the hair a lot better. So let's keep going. Cause when it was lighter like that, it's almost like I couldn't see it because the hair is already white. All right, so where's my draw layer? Let's reconnect and let's just follow it along. I do still want it to look like here, but you know, not too crazy. Not too crazy, though. So I'm still following along, just you know. And I still want I wanted to have that little spiky look at the end because. That's how it kind of looks. So, you know, we're just going to stick to that design. Uh, let me zoom up some more so you could see. Ooh, All right. Yeah. I don't know why Illustrator does that sometimes, but when I'm doing the pen tool, maybe somebody could help me once you see this video. But this thing just freaking, this is what it does. It moves while I'm in the middle of working. I don't like that, but you know, I'll, I'll deal with it for now. I'll deal with it for now. <laughs> All right, there we go. It looks crazy, but once everything comes together, it's gonna look fine. All right, we just pull and drag as we were doing before. Okay, and now I'm gonna start doing this because it looks like really sharp. Yeah. Let me zoom in. I'm trying to make sure I get it right. All right, so I'm just trying to catch like like the shapes on the other side. So as you could see, I'm not really like going for the details. I'm just trying to capture the outer layer shape, and that is it. That is all. Nothing over the top. Right. That's all we're doing. Pulling, drawing. This is my gnome, by the way. I took a picture of it. <laughs> there goes my uh, computer charger in in that area right there. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh oh, that one got twisted. So we're just gonna undo. So if you are if you are using a Mac, it's Command Z. And honestly, I don't know what the PC one is. You could just go to file and press undo. But I've been using Mac for a little bit now. And before I was using um, PC for all of my des design work. But I've been recently using a Mac and I can't remember what the key, the shortcut keys are for the PC. So... Mac it is. Big Mac -ing. To be honest, I don't think I even use shortcut keys. It was just always the, the actual keys. I just used to just go to file and press undo. Okay. So I can't leave the, as I was saying before with the other stuff, I can't leave um, this unreconnected. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to lock my layer where the nose and the hat is on. That way I don't. For example, let me show you. If both layers was was not on, and I touch this, then it would try to reconnect with this hat. So I could just move the hat, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna just keep it there and lock the layer that I did the hat on, and just go from there. All right? So we're just gonna go around in a circle. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to hide the hat layer, yeah, because I'm not gonna be able to see it. Okay, so. I was just gonna go around in a circle. Hold on. I'm gonna start here in the center. I'm gonna click, drag out. 
Yep, perfect. Just gonna follow around and and there we go. And we lock it in. So this is kind of what I was telling you about with the direct selection tool. See, I didn't really let me zoom up here. So I didn't really get a perfect. Wow. Well, so I didn't really get a perfect curve. So I choose to click my direct selection tool, which is going to be this little gray arrow. It's gonna be on your panels on your left. And you're going to click this right here and adjust. And that's how we adjust our shapes when we use a direct selection tool. If your shape doesn't look as perfect, oh, right? Yeah. And we go in and we adjust just like that. We move the points as needed, right? To fit with the actual join. And then, boom, there we go. So just to show you guys, I outline how everything looks now without the hands that I haven't drawn yet and the feet. All right, so we're gonna remove that and now this is how our gnome looks. All right, looks nice. All right, I think I might have to move this down a little bit to tell you the truth. Probably, mm-hmm. Just one, two, three, four points down. Cause I'm most likely gonna increase the stroke weight and when I increase the stroke weight, it's gonna get even more closer to this line right here. So I don't mind moving down the uh, nose a little bit. It's not perfect with the image, but you know, we're not worried about perfection right now. All right, so we're gonna lock the ear layer and we're gonna just draw like the hands, right? Yeah. So let's do that. We're gonna start you know what I'm gonna do the feet first because that one is easier and it's just a one little black feet right here so I go over and drag here drag here oh boy I don't think I connected this right hold on Let's see if I could drag it out from here. No, so I'm gonna have to probably do this. So this is the thing when you're using the pen tool, like sometimes you can't get the correct measurements. You have to just try, cause sometimes I'm like, maybe it will work if I do it from that direction, but it just doesn't. So, you know, there we go, perfect. And we're just gonna uh, lock this layer in, just like that. And we're gonna move on to the other feet right here. Start off at the top there. Get the little circle going, wrap it around, point drag. Don't do that. Sometimes Illustrator just pops up with these things that I don't know what it's saying or what it's doing. We're gonna go over here, right? And you're gonna start at the top right here. And you zoom up. Hopefully you can see that better. We're gonna point it down at the bottom here. I think I could get a good drag on it. Oh, here this thing go again. It's moving while I'm working. Oh my God. Yeah, but I think I might have to just take my time. Mm -mm, it's still not working. Okay, all right. I don't know why that's not working. Oh, well, I did get the drag that I needed. Okay, so because the 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 clothes of the gnome is different from the hand color. I can't create one shape with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only create the hand shape, right? So just get that circular motion in there. Then I'm going to lock in this shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your locking shape doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to recommend to get some curvature on the top. So it curves like that because I don't want to like do it straight. And then I'm gonna go back in, right? You're gonna do this under it. Look okay, at the line under it. Make sure to not connect this with this. Just make sure of that, okay? And I gotta figure out why Illustrator does that. I hate when it moves my screen when I'm trying to work. Okay. All right. All right, there we go. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's perfect. And we're gonna follow the tip line here. 
all right yeah we got it good okay i got it good and mm -hmm. there we go lock in this shape boom done with that uh what else you know what i can't lock in that shape like that because once i, I had the color to the ear i can't have an outline overlapping underneath so i gotta lock the shape like that and i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about afterwards so let's do the other hand this other hand looked a bit odd right <laughs> it's one longer than this but since that's how it looks let's just um you know what i could do i could just duplicate it but I'm just going to show you the harder way because once you get the hang of the pen tool, man, once you draw one shape, you're not going to want to keep drawing the same shape over. The best thing, if you get a good drawing on the first draw of the same shape, just duplicate it. Don't try to redraw it over on another side unless the shape on the other side is completely different. One moment. Okay, had to get some water. Okay, let's get back to it. All right. Let's zoom up and draw this part now. Start as close to right here as possible because we're looking for that curve, right? Yep. Mm. Ooh, that is pissing me off. All right, hold on. You know what? Maybe I need to do more than one point. All right, let's start at this point. And then just drag it down here since the other point is doesn't want to work oh boy all right and then I'm just gonna do this and finish off and lock in the shape give it like a curved shape boom locked in all right mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't want that okay this is draw the hand let me pull this up here while the file is open. Da, 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 da. All right. I'm going to start. <laughs> 